Hello Leos, welcome to your love reading for June 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just send me an email, a DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your love reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guys, Universe. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Leos, for love, for 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Can you please show me the energy, love energy surrounding Leo in June 2023? We have the Ten of Cups in the upright. Ooh, good times. Alrighty. And make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And that's right. I'll have something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're seeing or they're interested in somebody else. Three of Cups in the upright is in the challenge position. Hmm. <laughs> uh, for advice, what's getting pulled out here? The two cards of advice. Two cards of advice. Okay, let's do it. The temperance card in reverse and the two of cups in the upright. Hmm. Okay. And how will Leo be moving forward? All right. Also, in my playlist are your 2023 Sun Moon predictions. 2024s are going to be coming out. Put your requests in the comments. I will put your request in queue. You have two cards for outcome, too, or how you'll move forward from this reading which is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Magician card in the upright. Wow, you guys have a lot of cards coming out. All right, uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any links below in support of my efforts. Actually, there may not be links below because I think somebody's rebranding my stuff. So um, yeah, well, just like, share, subscribe. Okay, um, I mean, I'm looking at this over here. I don't want to look too much, but all right, let me start talking because this is crazy. Okay, Ten of Cups in the Upright. So in June, I mean, I feel as though there is going to be somebody and it's going to be a really, really good thing. It's going to be an emotional connection. I'm talking about you're going to be thinking about, wow, you know, I'm so connected to this person. This is the person I want to be with. They're the person I've been looking for. They're the person I want to, you know, buy the dream house with, have the kids with, get married, et cetera, et cetera. I absolutely think you're head over heels um, from an emotional standpoint. Now, let's keep in mind that you guys are in love with being in love. So when you do tend to enter into something, you do get very romantic, which I think is really, really great great um but i want you to stay a little bit grounded because the challenge position is the three of cups in the upright so i feel as though this person likes you but this person also likes other people so i feel as though you're going to have a little bit of competition um don't get me wrong i think this person does like you i think they adore you but i also think um they're the type of person that likes to have more than one person um in their life and not in their life, but when they're dating, they like to have more than one person that they're dating until they finally decide. Um, sometimes I find this this uh, characteristic in air signs. Um, they they tend to be not not the characteristic that I just spoke of, but they're friendly to everybody. They love everybody, and some people have a hard time with that. And I feel like this is your person. They don't. Um, they're very friendly. They're very kind, and they're very loving of everybody. They just have a universal idea of love and. I just don't think that necessarily is going to sit well with you guys for whatever reason. So the advice we have is the temperance card in reverse, which is the card of Sagittarius. And I feel as though what they're saying is when you're starting to feel a little imbalanced because of that, a little bit bothered because of that, um, keep in mind that with the two of cups in the upright, they are interested in you. They have a connection with you and it's a connection unlike any other. I do feel that you're the, the forerunner if there are other people um, in the picture. So they're telling you to just kind of focus on the connection you have instead of being concerned with other people. Um, I am seeing as you move forward, not a lot of movement from this person. Um, I almost feel like it, you're not going to see any movement. I feel like it, the, how they are is how they are. And I think they're going to be like that for a while. So I feel like you're the one that's actually going to have to take the reins on this one with the magician card in the upright. I feel as though you're the one that's going to say, hey, I really like you a lot. Let's make some magic happen. How can we go about doing that? Give me some ideas. Um, because I think they're just going to kind of stay um, 
in what they're in until someone kind of pulls them out of it. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is this Ten of Cups here in the upright for Leos? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oh, okay. So yeah, I feel there is some hesitation from this person. I think you have concerns about being rejected. Um, I think you have concerns about not being their one and only at this present time. And you're looking into that as, oh, I'm not good enough. How, you know, how can that be? I'm Leo, um, hear me roar. Um, I see you getting very upset, very frustrated and angry about that. Um, I get it. You guys do like to be the center of attention um, and like to be adored and want everyone else to leave the room. But I don't feel that this is this person. I think you're going to have to be a little bit more open-minded and a little bit tolerant if you want to be with them you've got to look at their good traits that they have um and, and maybe this person has been brought to you so that you you kind of um you kind of um aren't so close-minded and you know stubborn in regards to that we have the two of swords here in reverse um which it, it to me is kind of saying if you continue to kind of think like this and you choose to kind of um go between these two um op um two ways of thinking mentally, I think it's going to end up, uh, it's not going to end up very positive. So now would be the time to kind of turn things around and be more accepting of this person's situation and how they are. Um, they definitely like to be free. They're a freedom loving type of person. Um, you don't want to clip their wings. Why is the three of cups here in the upright with jealousy, by the way? Why is this three of cups here in the upright? Okay. In the challenge position, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Three of Wands in the reverse, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So in regards to other people, you're just telling this person um, the challenge is um, that you're just like, no, I don't, I don't want it to be like that. You need to change. I want things to change and I want them to change now. And they don't change and you get really kind of mad at that. You don't want them, you don't want them communicating with other people. With the three of wands in reverse, you're saying, you know, you don't need to be talking to them, um, whoever, whoever these people are. Um, but I think your person is very communicative. It's a part of who they are. They like uh, conversations with other people and you might be misreading it and the challenge is another challenge is for you kind of getting over this um i feel like this is a pattern this is a behavior that you've had and um the challenge is kind of realizing that these other people are not a threat to you something terrible isn't going to happen just because they are very amicable and they're very friendly and they're very generous and kind to other people so you're thinking worst case um in regards to this and, and that's kind of challenging the situation why are these cards here for a device why are you showing me the temperance card in reverse and the two of cups for advice okay so we have the so the nine of pentacles in reverse to me is possessed wanting someone as your possession being dependent on everything that they're doing so again they're saying when you start to feel yourself kind of be like that focus on what the connection actually is um oh okay and just because so with the six of pentacles or reverse just because they they are like this that doesn't mean it's taking anything away from you it doesn't mean it's an unequal relationship it's just kind of the way that they look at things um you know again focus on the connection it doesn't mean that you're putting more into it and they aren't or however you kind of want to interpret that um if you have a very strong connection with this person it's unlike any other then you have to appreciate the uniqueness that goes along with them and their freedom um why is the knight of pentacles in reverse here and why is the magician card in the upright starting with the knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles here yeah so as you move forward i see you get very upset very moody um yeah, i mean the knight of cups in reverse is someone who typically can't keep his emotions in check um he just kind of rolls with them and gets really negative with them um and whatnot you might also be blaming this person and saying oh okay well you're not emotionally available if you're going to be kind of be like this um be careful both of these cards it comes across as you being really childish um and you don't want to come across as that um but I am, I did see that they're kind of slow moving with this. And I, I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, another way that it can go with the Knight of Cups in reverse is this, this person has a problem committing um, because maybe they had, you know, um, 
experiences previously, or it might be that they just aren't in a commitment. Um, they want to kind of like be free flowing, have open relationships, like from now until eternity. Um, and I see you could possibly get upset because of that. So, um, in the magician card now what i'm getting also in addition to what i said is that you may have to recreate and do things differently um but i think things will be magical regardless so you might have to use um all the magic to kind of make this work in a different way it's going to be different but i think it's going to be fulfilling um why is the magician card here in the upright for leos as they move forward was this person yeah it has possibilities to it it's just not going to be the traditional way that you're used to doing things um page of pentacles in the upright is um you know the magic's going to happen you can start um considering you know taking root putting seeds down um you know coming up with a strategy to kind of make this happen but it's not going to be the same blueprint that you've always followed in fact i think it's going to be very um it's going to be a very out of this world kind of relationship is what I'm sort of getting. Um, it's weird because, and I'll just throw this story in real quick, but my mother-in-law, um, she was married for a really long time. Then her husband passed, obviously. And well, not obviously, but he passed and she was, she was like in her late seventies. And so she connected with, um, a, a gentleman who she went to high school with. And the funny thing was, um, th this guy was like very popular in the assisted living home. I mean, and she was his Wednesday night girl. So, so they would go on dates on Wednesday night and talk on the phone or whatever, but then like that was their time. And then he had other people that he wanted to kind of date and get to know. He was just that type of person. So, I'm almost kind of picking up that kind of energy. His name was Harry, by the way. So I don't know if you guys <laughs> dating a Harold or a Harry or something, but that's how it kind of was. And it worked. I mean, it worked. She was like, yeah, I'm the Wednesday night girl and we get together and this and that. But, and she wasn't jealous or, or um, possessive about other people he was seeing. She, he was so great that just the time that she, he had with her was, you know, she made the most of it. So I know it's wacky, but it worked for them. So I'll leave you with that. Um, if this does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, click on the video link below uh, for your what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have um, something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist are your 2023 Sun and Moon predictions. Definitely check those out. 2024s will be coming out. Put your request in the comments. Comments. I promise I will put you in queue and then look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, Leos, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.